with sunshine on the way this weekend for many in our region. You may want to get out in the mountains. But as we get further into spring, there are some steps you can take now to protect our trails. And BC5 Sid Buley is live with more on how you can be prepared for mud season hiking. Sid? Yeah, Liz, Alice, I mean, Matt was mentioning those cooler temps this weekend and the Green Mountain Club says this might actually be your last chance for winter condition hiking. But as those temps are going to get warmer, the Green Mountain Club says you're going to want to be careful on the trails so that we need to protect them going forward. As we get into spring, many are excited to hit the trails. But as temps warm up, work continues for the Green Mountain Club. Mud season is a challenging time for us. The team maintains over 500 miles of trail in Vermont, which drew over 10,000 visitors last year. As we gear up for another season, field coordinator Nigel Bates says spring snowmelt can lead to variable conditions for your hike. If hikers go out there and or encounter a big mud pit, they might be inclined to go around it and widen the trail and step on vegetation. And even if they plow straight through the mud, if the mud is really bad, they are going to be increasing that erosion. Bates says that can lead to ditches with water, meaning it takes more time and money to repair. Rock slabs set into the trail that people can then step on that prevent all of the soil from eroding away. But as mud season gets underway, Bates says higher elevation trails will be the most at risk. The most snow melt is occurring up there and they go in the most fragile ecosystems. No matter the elevation, the Green Mountain Club wants you to set a good example out on the trails. Your footsteps could be followed by many other footsteps and over time that erosion can get quite severe. But Bates says when it comes to this weekend, you're in luck. A lot of our most popular popular trails in the mountains are actually still fully snow covered. So this might be the last weekend if you want to get out there on your snowshoes and go for a true winter hike. After that, Bates says some trails could be touch and go depending on elevation and temperature. Basically, you can go out there and check it out, if, yeah, but you need to be willing to turn back if you're encountering severe mud. Now, Bates says that that severe mud is when mud is going up to your ankles as you're walking through. And as those temps do get warmer, you're going to want to stay off the trails. He says that could really help set us up for a good summer of hiking. Live in South Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.